It's 2 a.m., you're on call. A trauma roll-in, middle-aged man, unresponsive, facial swelling, and you're told to intubate. You grab the laryngoscope, tilt his head, and instantly realize this isn't gonna be easy. Now here's the thing, this situation is avoidable. There's a simple five-step check that could have warned you before you even opened the airway bag. It's called the Lehman Law, and if you're not using it, you're skipping one of the most reliable ways to spot a difficult intubation early. Stick around, because in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use it and why it can make or break your next airway call. In this video, we'll walk through the Lehman Law, a simple, fast assessment used to predict difficult airways before intubation begins. Whether you're a student, EMT, nurse, or new physician, this should be part of your pre-intubation routine. Let's begin. L stands for look externally. Start by observing the patient's face and neck. Ask yourself, do they have a large tongue? A receding chin? Facial trauma, swelling, or burns? A thick neck, beard, or obesity? These are all red flags. They can make it harder to insert and position your laryngoscope and harder to visualize the vocal cords. If something looks off externally, there's a good chance it will be difficult internally too. E stands for evaluate the 332 rule. Use your fingers to measure three simple distances. First, the patient should be able to open their mouth at least three finger widths. Second, the distance from the chin to the hyoid bone should also be three fingers. Third, from the hyoid bone to the thyroid notch, two fingers. These measurements tell you how much space you have to work with. If the airway is short or tight, expect a difficult intubation. Failing any part of the 3-3-2 rule should raise concern. M is for malum patty score. This test estimates how easy it will be to see the glottis during laryngoscopy. Ask the patient to sit up, open their mouth, and stick out their tongue. If you can see the soft palate, uvula, and tonsillar pillars, that's a class one airway. Easy. If you can only see the soft palate, that's class four. Much harder. Not every patient can cooperate, but when possible, this gives valuable insight. O is for obstruction. Look for anything that could physically block the airway. This might include vomiting, bleeding, facial trauma, swelling, tumors, infection, or foreign bodies. Even something as simple as secretions can severely reduce your view. Obstructions make both ventilation and intubation more difficult. Be prepared with suction, airway adjuncts, and a backup plan. N stands for neck mobility. Can the patient move their head and neck? To optimize your view, you want them in the sniffing position. That means neck flexed, head extended, but conditions like arthritis, spinal precautions, trauma, or obesity can limit this movement. If neck mobility is reduced, you may not get proper alignment. That can severely limit your laryngoscopic view. Always assess range of motion before you intubate. Let's recap. L, look externally. E, evaluate the three to three negative two rule. M, malum patty score. O, obstruction. N, neck mobility. Together, these five steps give you a rapid, reliable picture of the airway. Used consistently, they help you prepare, anticipate challenges, and avoid surprises. Let's look at a real case. A trauma patient arrives with facial swelling. He's unconscious, with limited mouth opening. You can't assess his malum potty. There's blood in his mouth, and his neck is immobilized. That's four out of five Lehman criteria suggesting difficulty. We switched to video laryngoscopy, used a bougie, and prepped a surgical airway kit. First pass success, because we didn't guess we prepared. Here's the takeaway. Most failed airways don't happen because of poor skill. They happen because of poor planning. The Lehman Law is simple, quick, and it works. It helps you be proactive, no reactive, when seconds count. If this breakdown helped you, consider reviewing it regularly or sharing with your team. The more often you use it, the more natural it becomes. Thank you for watching. Stay sharp, stay prepared, and always assess before you intubate.